I didn't always embrace the prophetic until I saw this happen. Once I saw this in action, I was totally sold out. Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, I want to welcome you back to my show. And today I want to talk to you about prophetic breakthrough. How do you use the prophetic for healing and deliverance? And I had been operating in the prophetic for years, but I didn't really want to operate in it very fluently and really embrace everything that the Father had for me, honestly. But then he opened up my seer eyes, the eyes of my heart and understanding to the prophetic. And as he did that, I saw how people could get delivered in five minutes. I saw how we could use the prophetic for healing and deliverance and accelerate people in their deliverance sessions. And once I saw that, I was sold out. I was just like, okay, we're going to do this. And so when we look at Isaiah 40, I'm sorry, Isaiah 50, four to five, it says, And the Lord God had given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. The Lord has opened up my ear, and I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. This is the prophetic in action. The Lord opening up our ears, guys, and giving us that revelation that someone else needs to hear. It could be a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom, prophetic insight. But I want you to think about maybe times that someone spoke a word into you that prophesied really right into your heart. And that's what the prophetic does when we really allow the Holy Spirit in, and it brings breakthrough. I remember one time being out doing prophetic evangelism, and as I was, you know, the Lord showed me something. And right there in a store in five minutes, I got to not only prophesy into someone, but also deliver them. And that's what prophetic breakthrough through is. It is divine revelation from the Father. And what he'll do is he'll start giving you what I call downloads or drops. And as he gives you those downloads or drops, you just got to release it. Receive it and release it. Receive it and release it. And just go with it, okay? Because as you go with it, more is going to stir. Your adrenaline is going to get pumping. You're going to hear from the Holy Spirit. You're going to receive more. And you're just going to be flowing. And it doesn't always make sense, but you just got to go with it. You just got to go with it. I remember one time a lady coming to our meetings and you know, she was a, a well-dressed, you know, you could tell she was a spiritual, mature Christian. And I got this word and I'm like, oh my goodness, this does not fit. And I gave it to her and it was so much deliverance from her. Her brother had had a, you know, life-changing accident and she had a bad past with him and she didn't want to go and apologize and make amends and see him. And, you know, God just met her right where she was at. And I remember another time too, I had a meeting and these were just home meetings, people coming into our home for like a home meeting we were having. And I didn't know this group of women. And I saw this white package that God was giving her. And she was an elderly lady, and I found out after the meeting she had just lost her husband. And so it was God really giving them breakthrough, giving them deliverance. And both times, I mean, the revelation did not make sense, but it's not our job to interpret it. Keep your flesh out of it, and we just got to go with those words of knowledge that we receive and, and just run with it. We got to trust the Holy Spirit that when we're really allowing our souls and our spirits to be open to the Holy Spirit and what he wants to tell us, we're going to get revelation that's going to change someone's life. We're not responsible for the results. We're just accountable for the delivery. Let me say that again. We're not responsible for the results. We're accountable for the delivery. And so just be obedient. The prophetic is going to minister to the brokenhearted, to those who are hurting, 
those who are under spiritual warfare, those who don't know God, those who just need some encouragement. And I think we all need encouragement at one time or the other. But I can remember years ago, I was just like, you know, am I prophetic? How prophetic am I? What's moving? What's operating in the prophetic? And it really wasn't until I really opened my heart truly up to the prophetic that I started having profound encounters with people that really gave them a transference from darkness to light, from grief to joy, you know, from hate to love. And I could have blocked all that if I didn't embrace it. I want you to really realize that, friends. When we don't embrace something that God wants to give us, we can block someone else's breakthrough. And that's why I want to encourage you. I got two things I want to encourage you to do. One, we're doing a prophetic engagement event in Grand Rapids, Michigan, April 19 and 20. I want you to get here. I want you to get a van full and get here. Bring some people and get equipped in the prophetic so that you can be the light in a dark world. And I also have a prophetic handout on my website at kathydegrawministries.org backslash prophetic. And it's how to manifest your prophetic words. You know, you've received prophetic words. What do we do next? And, you know, in the case of these people, these women I ministered to, that was their breakthrough moment. Uh, that was a deciding factor for them. But it's not all the time that's the way it is with us. And sometimes we have something else to do with our prophetic words. And that's why I encourage you to go and get that free handout, uh, just some short articles and information that's really going to help you manifest your prophetic words. But I just want to pray for you right now. Uh, Heavenly Father, I just pray for everyone right now that they're open to the realm of the prophetic. I, I just speak life into them that they get their prophetic breakthrough, that they have a profound encounter with you, Holy Spirit, that they learn to trust you. I thank you and praise you that you can use the prophetic to bring forth accelerated deliverance and that we all embrace that deliverance. And so, Father God, I just ask that you just um, lay your presence upon these people right now. Affirm their calling and how they should be manifesting and walking out the prophetic. Friends, if you don't know, I'm in a prophetic series. Go back to the previous episodes on my podcast or on YouTube. Come and join me for the next four episodes. We're going to continue talking about the prophetic to get you activated. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.